Hey, what's up guys? My name is John. Some people call me Geo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going through a VST plugin from Bad and Tadanoff called Blades. This one is the 64-bit version. In my last video of my Blades uh, VST, I said it was 64-bit, but I screwed up. It was really 32. So now you'll hear the 64-bit. Um, as you can see, I have a session of Reaper version 6.03 opened up with four tracks. Two guitars, bass, and a drum. Guitars are panned hard left 100% and also 100% right. The bass and drum straight up the middle. So um, I'm going to show you what I have going on in each track and also on the master track. After this video, there's a second part that you can hear the whole song from start to finish. Alright, so um, I'll show you what's going on. My left guitar track. I'm running the Night Amps Tyrant Screamer Overdrive with these settings. After that, we have the Blades uh, VSD plugin set to high quality. This is the 64 bit version again with these settings. And I'm running um, NetIR, the Night Amps uh, Impulse Response Loader with uh, Misha Mansour IRs from the Signature Pack which I received from Brian from C Cow Cabs. You guys should check out C Cow Cabs because Brian's IRs are pretty damn good. They're just as good as some of the premium ones that you hear about. So again, check out his website and uh, donate to him and, uh, because I'm pretty sure that will help him out. All right, so I'm running um, Cream SM57 Zero and also a Cream R121 Five on both uh, left and right tracks of guitar. <clears throat> and then I'm also running this um, Waves Chefs Ami channel uh, mastering uh, plugin. And I'm actually running the, uh, a preset, which is let's see where the hell I put it. It's called Electric Guitar 3. If I can find it for you right here. It's from, uh, I, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Jack, Jack Quar King. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's called Electric Guitar 3. I have it on the left and right track. This is a pretty sweet uh, VSD plugin. You should check it out and purchase it if you don't already have it. So again, the right track is pretty much what I just showed you. Same thing that's on the left. And again, I'm running this on the right track as well. For bass, I'm running a, a Cerebus BST from Quaza. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. My uh, English sometimes sucks. Because I am, uh, you know, Italian slash English. So. Bear with me. So uh, that's how I have this set up with these IRs called uh, Classic USA 8x10. Uh, Dynamic 112 on the left, Dynamic 441 on the right with these settings. For the drums, I'm running Easy Drummer 2, drum kit from HAL, 8 preset, as you can see. And again, on this channel, I'm running um, this Ami channel VST plugin. And it's set in a preset called Beef My Drums. Right from uh, Andrew uh, Shep's presets. This thing has like a ton of awesome presets. And of course, you can adjust it yourself as well. But I like using presets if they sound good. That's that, right? Then on my master track, I'm running Ozone 8 and um, this preset right here called New Age Vintage, which is a vintage tape, vintage EQ, vintage compressor, imager, and a vintage limiter, which sounds really awesome. This is how the um, left guitar by itself sounds like. And 
This is how it sounds left and right. I think it sounds pretty killer. What do you guys think? Just the drums. Which sound pretty kick ass as well. With that uh, Chef's Omni Channel VST. I love that VST plugin. Miss the bass. Which also sounds killer. Well, there you go guys, um, stick around for the second part of this, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.